already. So when Amin fell, then we had to form one army with the Obotis, Obotich Kosmarum, other groups. So we had to surrender our guns to the new army. The, the what you, you what you UNLA, you Uganda National Liberation Army. Now some of my people led by Otafuire, and that's why I want you to, to <laughs> that's why I want you to know about God. Led by Otafuire, they said we should not hand in all our guns. <laughs> because Tomanya, these UPCs may turn against us. So we should hide like 2,000 guns, hide them somewhere for the rainy day. I rejected that. It was a big struggle. I rejected that. I said, this is terrible. How can I be a member of the Uganda National Liberation Front, a member, member also vice chairman of the military commission, and I take part in hiding guns <laughs> and say we have handed all the guns when we have not. This is terrible. God does not like it. Principles don't like it. <laughs> And, and also strategically, it is very risky because suppose it leaks now. Who will ever trust us again? So both spiritually, morally, and strategically, it is a mistake. So I rejected Otafuri's idea. It was a big struggle <laughs> because he had a constituency who were, who, were, who were in his right that we should hide some guns. So when the UPC, in their foolishness, stand against us, against, again, like the Tafuris were saying, that they would betray us, now we have the problem how to get our guns again. <laughs> so, but these army officers of ours, who had joined, who had joined the Joint Army, they knew where these guns were. One, 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 one cache, big cache was at Kabamba. Then the other one was at Masindi. Then there was Mubende. Then there 